channel welcome back um as you guys can see i changed the pink room from downstairs because brandon's dad moved in um it was a long story um long story short he's getting older and he you know he's just getting older so um i moved the pink room upstairs so it's more like of a closet but it can be turned into a bedroom but I'm not gonna turn it into a bedroom. I'm just gonna leave it just like this for now. But it's been a long time. I feel like the last time we chatted was, um, oh, where is it? Okay guys, back to what I was saying. Um, oh, I really don't like that you can see that, so hold on. Okay guys, anyways. Back to what I was saying. Um, so this is the new scenery, um, just temporary. Um, so the plan was not to do my makeup and do a YouTube video. Okay guys, I'll be looking over here too because the, big, the bigger mirror is right here and I just have to look sometimes like directly at myself. Okay, perfect. All right guys, so the plan was not to do my makeup and do a YouTube, but we are going somewhere, and uh, Brandon's like, Oh, you know, you take all day to do your makeup, which is true. <laughs> I take all day to get dressed in general, so uh, I'm like, Okay, you know what? I'll just make this video into me doing my makeup. Okay, uh, again, I am not the best at doing makeup, this is just something that I do. I'm not a makeup artist, okay? I wouldn't recommend me doing anybody else makeup as of right now, because I'm working on never saying never. Anything is possible. Who knows, maybe one day in the future, I might want to be a makeup artist. All right, that was just some primer. Um, Yeah, so I guess what I want to do is just, uh, ooh, what is that? I guess what I just want to do is just update you guys on you know everything that's been going on because the last time i spoke to you guys um i had just no i was pregnant the last time i spoke to you guys i was pregnant and the reason why i was just a little bit hesitant on saying that is because i made youtube videos i probably made oh i don't know why water does anybody know why water comes out i don't understand that um i've made youtube videos i just have not uh published them like i mean i just haven't edited them so that's why i'm kind of like wait no you guys met my son but no you guys uh so i've made youtube videos i just have not oh i just have not had time to uh edit them and i'm gonna get into why i have not had time to edit them i just kind of wanted to just you know kind of just update you guys on everything that's been going on so far before i release those videos because i will release all those videos that i did i didn't do them for no reason but um i feel like i want to add a little bit more okay uh first of all um do i still have an audience <laughs> like comment below if you guys are still here uh because first of all i disappeared for like maybe six months i just dropped the bomb on you guys and said i'm pregnant and then just dipped so uh <laughs> it was not supposed to be like that that was never the plan that was never their intention but you guys things happen um like i said i've had my beautiful baby boy he's just so perfect uh he's pretty much everything that i prayed for and prayed about uh i won't be showing him in this video just because like i said i did make um i did make a, a birth vlog video which i want to share with you guys so bad so i decided that i won't be showing him this video just because um yeah i feel like that video was a little it was special and i feel like that was more his introduction so no i will not be showing him right right now so anyways, yes, I had a beautiful baby boy. His name is Artemis. He is five months now. He just turned five months on the first. 
Uh, he was born July 1st. And uh, I don't know, you guys. Me and Brandon, we're just both overfilled with joy. We're both new parents, so it's a lot for us. We're just trying to like figure everything out, learn everything. Uh, being a parent is not exactly what I thought. Like, I don't know why I thought it was like easy, but when somebody tells you being a parent is not easy, you better believe them. And I just want to say, I really give it to you if you are a single parent because that joint it is not easy being a single parent. I mean, it is not easy being a parent like in a marriage already as is like it's a lot especially when you're a new parent you're just like learning everything like you're a whole different person like if you think that because i thought if you think that you're gonna go back to normal and everything's gonna just be like your regular schedule okay guess again and that's exactly what i had thought i don't know why i thought that and uh I guess it was just kind of like hard. I'm not going to say that I went through postpartum depression because I did not go through postpartum at all. Thank God. Um, but it was definitely, um, it still is a little tricky, you know, trying to, I guess, find yourself again. Because um, you're not the same person. You're a different person. So that's one thing that I will say has been, you know, a little challenging it's just still being myself but i guess I, I what i say is a better version of myself but i'm not gonna get too much in details about artemis in this video just because um i did like i said made a birth vlog and i feel like that birth vlog was very special to me so i just won't be sharing a lot of information right now um so like i said this video is more of a where have i been how are you guys how am i doing and stuff like that so recently we just went to texas uh last week last week it was my birthday and um i wanted to take you guys with me so bad but i'm like no i'm not going to just because i have videos like in the vault <laughs> just waiting so um, we went to go visit my mom and my brothers and sisters uh, in San Antonio because my mom lives in San Antonio and it was just it was so great like it was amazing because it was my baby's first flight which I was so nervous about him being on the flight I was worried about um, the pressure with his ears because you know like that still bothers me now being the age that I am um, hold on guys I gotta focus Okay, my eyebrows are kind of like all over the place right now because I am letting my eyebrows grow back thick. My eyebrows were naturally thick and me getting them done so many times, everybody has just making it thinner and thinner. And I just, I don't know, I was just over it because I love my natural thick eyebrows. And I'm just like, you know what? I am not doing this anymore. I'm just gonna let it grow out. Like, I don't even care if it looks a mess. Um, and so I've been just growing them out. I haven't had my eyebrows done in maybe about four, maybe five months. So uh, it's getting there, but somebody told me, they're like, eyebrows take a long time to grow back. So I'm definitely like realizing that because every day I'm waking up looking at them like, well, why aren't they as thick yet? So they didn't lie about that. Um, so yeah, anyways, like I was saying, uh, we just went to San Antonio. It was my baby's first trip ever. It was a fun experience. I got to spend some quality time with my family. My um, Everybody got to just meet my baby. I got to meet, well, I already met my niece. Um, I got to see my niece again. You guys remember I did the Dallas trip. So it was just really fun. It was amazing. It was a nice experience for uh, Brandon and I and Artie. I can't say Artie really enjoyed himself. He was um, being really fussy the first couple of days. But I mean, it was kind of expected because it's a new scenery for him. 
and um I don't know like it was just kind of expected for him to be cranky like how he was so um so yeah that was that um what else oh I turned 25 last week which is so crazy I just can't believe it like I remember just being 18 so crazy how fast time be flying don't waste no time because life doesn't play life before you know it you just wake up and then you're 25 which is crazy because i remember waking up being 18 but so yeah that was um I, I really enjoyed my birthday i had a great birthday just spending with family my family threw me a pajama party they invited their friends which was great energy it was no drama and you know i'm into that type of stuff drama free um so yeah, we did that. We had a great time. Like I said, I wanted to YouTube so bad, but I just didn't YouTube just because um, I just got too much stuff that I need to show you guys before I just jump and say, oh, here's this video. So should I dumb this? I feel like, I don't know. Okay, guys, Ari is downstairs being a little fussy. I can hear him right now. <laughs> Literally, like he's right up under me so um yeah so that was one thing i didn't really want to do anything extravagant for my birthday this year just because we have already now and i'm just like usually we travel overseas for my birthday but i'm just like you know what um i feel like i'm 25 this year i want this to be special and i want my family to meet him so i don't know it was just a it was a sweet moment so that's pretty much what's been going on with me is just momming right now um trying to be a good wife um just trying to provide for my family i feel like this year definitely was an eye opener for me um as far as in friendships definitely friendships because i'm telling you these people that be claiming they be your friends they be nowhere to be found where is vanilla because i'm smelling like vanilla today um they be nowhere to be found and i don't know i feel like everything happens for a reason and i feel like uh this year needed to happen the way it did just so when i get to a certain level in my life i just know who to keep in my circle and who not to keep in my circle so um that's pretty much what that's really all been going on with me right now is just still um learning i feel like you learn every day being a mom like it's not a job that just ends so um i got some cookbooks i got about maybe three cookbooks um i can't think of the first two i know the one is called joy and i believe that's the one my grandma my mom's mom she was telling me that's what she learned her mom had it in the kitchen so i i've made a few things out of that cookbook really i haven't really cooked like a grand meal probably since like last year i'm not gonna even lie <laughs> so but i mean i make little stuff here and there uh for sure um but i definitely do want to get back into learning how to cook i don't know i just have a lot stored for my youtube guys like it's just a lot of stuff that i don't know does concealer go there i'm just gonna put two dots there i have a lot of stuff um i just have a lot of stuff that i just want to share with you guys that i will be doing um another thing oh the biggest thing why i had went mia is because jump roll please <laughs> i just passed my real estate exam um that was probably one of the biggest things why i went mia and i won't even make this up to you guys i just strictly had tunnel vision it was my family and school i set myself a goal when i was 18 and i remember it vividly because i'm like when I turn 25, I'm gonna have a career. And I just always told myself that. So I don't know, um, I started real estate school when I was four months pregnant. 
um it was always in the plan for me to do real estate like i knew it was something i wanted to do i just didn't i don't think that i really pushed myself to really actually do it until i got pregnant because i remember last year calling brandon while he was at work and i'm just like i'm gonna go to real estate school and he's like, oh, are you sure? Are you serious? Like, is this something you want to do? Because, you know, knowing me, I say I'm going to do stuff. And then it'd be like, mm, I don't think I want to do it. But um, I don't know. I just knew. <laughs> Hardy's crying. I just knew that I was going to do it. So when I got pregnant, that was like my push. It was like, okay, I am going to real estate school i'm doing this for my family i'm doing this for my son and have a better life this is just i don't know it was just a big it was something that i just knew i was gonna do so uh um like i said i started when i was four months pregnant and honestly i'm not gonna lie to you guys um real estate school was probably one of the most hardest things that i had to endure in my life and only reason why I say that, because you know, somebody else could be like, well, I did and it was easy. The reason why it was like one of the hardest things for me is because like I said, I was pregnant. I was four months pregnant. Um, I was dealing with all these doctors telling me this. Oh, I can't. <laughs> you know what? I'm saving that for the story time. <laughs> I can't. Oh my gosh. I just caught myself that I'm gonna say for the story time that I did so um yeah anyways like I was saying um real estate was probably one of the hardest because everything that was going on in my pregnancy and I just I don't know like I want to say no okay I'm not gonna skip there so um it was going pretty good when I was like in my early stages of pregnancy I'm like oh I got this as my pregnancy went on um artemis was getting bigger and bigger my body was hurting like i had to have good posture just studying it was just i don't know like i cried a lot i'm not gonna even lie to you guys like i definitely cried a lot because i was just like oh my gosh like this is just too much for me like i don't know i didn't really think that um anyways long story short i ended up having um artemis and um i still wasn't done with school because i want to say i started school in april and i finished school in july and i had already july 1st so i just did not think that i was going to continue doing real estate it was a lot because i was pumping Ooh, I need more contour. This is ghetto, guys. I was pumping and uh, I don't know. It was just a lot. Like I said, I was just trying to like, I, I guess I was still just trying to be myself. I was still trying to sit here and post pictures and, you know, just try to act like everything was like perfect and it was okay. But in reality, it just really wasn't because um i was just going through a lot with like school and just feeling like i was so far behind than everybody because you know once you finish school it's like i know actually i remember when i was in school i remember like people would comment on the chat and school wasn't even over people would be like oh i'm taking my exam next week and i was i will always be like three or four chapters behind everybody else i never told them that <laughs> but um i was just always more behind than everybody and it was just like i don't know like i guess i just started like doubting myself towards the end like because it was like dang everybody had it all figured out and um i just didn't like i was just trying to prepare for my son and i don't know it was just a lot so um once i had him i did lose sight of track for maybe about uh maybe about a month yeah it was like august i did lose sight of track for about a month i mean of course that's expected i was bonding with my child <coughs> oh i shouldn't have did that why i've been away 
I'm not going to apologize for my absence because at the end of the day, I was getting myself together. I was getting my family together, making sure my son's future is secured. I'm like, you know what? YouTube is definitely going to understand. Oh, here comes um, Brandon and Artie. stairs um he had to get his oral gel because he's fussy he is teething right now my poor baby but um anyways like i was saying um uh when i had my baby uh i just was like you know what i'm gonna focus on him i honestly didn't think that i was gonna finish but I don't know, one day I just woke up and I was just all like, you know what? I did not do all of this in the beginning for nothing. So I'm just gonna continue it out. So um, I ended up, did continue it out and I passed. I'm not gonna get into too much details about it because I might do another video about it. But, um, ooh. <laughs> you know, just, if anybody's thinking about getting in that field, um, I would love to give my advice, um, explain my experience, um, what I would do different and whatnot. I'm definitely going to make another video if you guys want me to. So comment below if you guys want me to get into details about that. Um, so yeah, that was that. And also, um, like I mentioned in my birth, when I was pregnant, my pregnancy Q&A, um, I don't know, like, you know, my grandma died, like, it literally feels like it was this year. <sighs> I don't know, I just feel like that just will never sit right to me because it just happened so suddenly, and I don't know, like, it's still, like, I think about that so much every day, like, I think about, like, what our last conversation would be like, what would be different, and this, that, and the third. So, that's another thing that I just had to disappear from. It's still coping with that. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> like, as you guys can see, like, my life has been, like, pretty much just everywhere right now. What I do want to say while I'm doing this video is I do want to thank everybody that's been so supportive. Like, um just everything like from when i got pregnant from me being in school i just want to say thank you to everybody that really has been there for me because you just never know how much um a text hey how are you could really go and i feel like you know the people that's really been there for me like you know they know who they are and i just feel like i don't know like I've, i'll always just have them like i always have their back just because of them being there for me and um i just want to say like it just it did not go unnoticed i don't even know if i'm doing this right oh it's getting everywhere your support meant everything to me um I am I am currently in school again right now. Oh, Brandon's nephew just texted me. I'm like, listen, because we're going over there. I'm like, listen, when I come over, I need you to help me with my Sims. <laughs> so he's like, alrighty. Like he's good at doing the mods and stuff if you play the Sims. Um it's my little kid away. I love the Sims. I'm currently in school again right now. <laughs> I am getting my license in another state. I'm just trying to get the bag from everywhere. Like, I'm I'm just trying to get the bag from all angles that I can get it at. Like, wherever I, like, I'm a traveling person. I love to travel. But currently, right now, like, where I'm getting my license is my home. It's going to be my forever home. And I know it's going to be my forever home just because it's always been for me. So, um, I am, I am, and I will be licensed in two states. So, 
that's one thing um that i'm working on right now i will say it's not as tough well i'm not gonna say it's not as tough because the hours are like way longer than getting my license here in new york um but it's pretty much all the same stuff like it's pretty much all the same stuff they do have some things that's a little bit different um but not that much different so um i don't know i'm just trying to remember how i do this i don't you guys i have no idea how did that look the nose is knowing <laughs> um so yeah that's what i'm doing right now i'm working on getting my i'm working on getting my license somewhere else um do i think that um this is my future doing real estate uh yes for myself i definitely do see me um i do see this being a long-term goal for me um it's something i just always wanted to do i just remember being a little girl watching hgtv with my grandmother and um so she would actually be watching true crime tv do you guys know what that is okay whatever it was it was with those serial killers and i just never understood why she was into stuff like that because it honestly scared me so bad but she will always tell me like you need to watch this because this is real life and whatever the case may be but i don't care true crime traumatized me <laughs> everyone people ask like oh why are you so scary uh true crime that's exactly what it is because my grandma watched that all the time so my grandma would actually be watching true crime tv and um <laughs> I like we would watch HGTV but every time like she would watch true crime like she would fall asleep I'm turning the channel back to HGTV like it just it made me feel good it made me feel happy just looking at the houses and stuff like that so I'm just all like okay this is my comfort like this HGTV was actually my comfort show I remember watching um House Hunters actually still comes on House Hunters um <laughs> what else chip and joanna which was called fixer upper um you know all of those people like i was just really into all of it so i do see it being something for me in the future because this is something that i grew up on which is why i knew that this is what i was going to do that's exactly why i have been mia oh it's not that bad now that i'm up a little bit closer it is not that bad oh i did not mean to do that because i have been busy with school being a mom uh being a loving wife it's just it's all been a lot like a lot has happened in the year the last couple years because it's about to be 2023 oh my gosh i can't even believe i'm saying that it's about to be 2023 like that's just so where did the time go oh my gosh you see what i said in the earlier in the earlier part time be flying so that's exactly like what i've been doing um do i see and i will i know i said this before and i mean it <laughs> i honestly mean it i am definitely gonna be spending more time with my youtube videos again because now i have my son and i feel like i can do i can be doing mommy vlogs a day in the life of being a mom or well i shall say right now stay at home mom because that's actually what i am right now is a stay at home mom but um that's not the goal for me that's never been the goal for me actually which is why brandon has been super supportive and me um you know going to school and whatnot and he has been super helpful with my school especially like when i needed like to do my practice test like he was always quizzing me he was quizzing me on my flashcards. so having a supportive partner was one of the best things in my school journey and being a mother i i shall say is one of the best things is when you have a great support system my aunt helps out a lot um 
like she comes over here pretty much like all the time she was just over here yesterday uh she watches Ari for us if we need him to if we need her to watch him so that's been really that's been super helpful because I feel like you know I need that <sighs> oh you guys you guys you guys you guys I Um, I'm actually not keeping these braids in because me and Artie, me and Artemis have a photo shoot coming up next week, which the, by time this video get released, the video, I mean, uh, the photo shoot will already have be done, but me and Artie got a photo shoot next week. It's for my real estate pictures um just a couple with my baby because he was one of the biggest motivations into finishing um and what else and just you know it's important oh yeah my baby is down there being fussy control you see like how it just it blends in with like my makeup don't worry i'll clean all that up it's gonna get cleaned up you see how that is it just gets all nasty so anyway uh there it goes okay uh that's pretty much it for the video um because it i'm pushing it towards time i said i was gonna be done around three which is 320 so i'm making it pretty on good time um uh so yeah guys that was pretty much it i gotta come back home you know what no i study all day i'm like i'm not making this oh that was a lot i am not making this up i get up oh i forgot something shoot oh dang it yeah Yeah, I am not making this up. I get up, I study, I'm in the shower, I'm studying. Like my day revolves around my son and um studying. So um I'm not really sweating time with um getting my schoolwork done because I will be doing that. <laughs> I will be doing that as I am uh, pretty much everything because now I'm I'm doing my schoolwork um on my phone. So my last classes I didn't do my schoolwork on my phone. Um I only did my school I actually had a textbook. It's a little bit easier now with the um with doing it on my phone. Okay, there we go. All right, let that sit for a couple minutes. Um, uh, what's a good read I can read while we're here? Um, I actually am like reading something right now. Um, it's not this. It's actually in my suitcase, but it's from the creator who wrote The Secret. Um, I can't think. I think it's called The Daily Teachings. That's what I'm reading right now. So um, I do need another read um, before I close out this video. And uh, ooh, my hands are super dry. Vanilla, because I'm wearing vanilla for the day. Yes, I still wear Bath and Body Works. I am not one of those girls that be like, oh, I don't wear Bath and Body Works. Girl, please. <laughs> okay. First, I'm gonna call Davisha because Davisha be helping me out with everything, okay? So, uh, first, I'm gonna call Davisha. 
and ask her, girl, can I get my baby some more um, Tylenol? Because he is in pain. I'm telling y'all right now, a tooth is going to be coming out. I can just smell it. I know, I know a tooth is definitely going to be coming out, like, probably in the middle of the month or the end of the month. It's definitely going to be this month. Mark my words. I'm going to let y'all know. And, um, yeah, so once I upload this video, I will definitely be uploading, like, all the other old videos that I had did and just never uploaded them. And, um, okay. Yeah, I usually don't do, like, a full beat face makeup to go to his sister house because you know they family but um i'm like i really didn't know how i was gonna do this youtube video i didn't know like how i was gonna talk to you guys or whatever the case may be and like i said i was running late on time so i was just like you know what i'm just gonna do my makeup and i'll just do a video but i'm glad i did it like this that is it for this video um i'm putting on my setting spray Um, so yeah, uh, make, sh make sure you guys like and subscribe and, um, thank you guys so much. I will be more consistent now that that's out the way. Um, school is not holding me back from you guys this time again. And, um, yeah, love you guys.